As companies start to collect large amounts of data from an ever-increasing number of locations, building a data pipeline can be quite the challenge. Join us as we talk to Two Sigma about how they architected a data pipeline to fit their many demands on this episode of Stack Chat. Thanks for joining us. Tell us a little bit more about Two Sigma and why your data pipeline was so complex to build. Sure, so at Two Sigma, we make use of data science and technology to uncover value. Essentially, we combine massive amounts of data along with computing power and financial expertise to develop sophisticated trading models. We need to ingest and process data at an ever-increasing rate whilst protecting it from exfiltration, either accidental or malicious. So can you show us how you were able to keep up with the demands of so much data? Sure, let's take a look at a diagram. Our first attempt at this was to have a GCP project which was connected to the internet. This allowed us to arrange for vendor data to be ingested from various sources such as S3 or FTP. This enabled us to have an environment where our researchers were able to explore data sets and discover new features. From there, our engineers could build data pipelines using native services like BigQuery, Google Cloud Storage, and Dataproc or Dataflow. This enabled us to rapidly derive insights from the data in, our, in a more scalable manner when compared to our on-premise environment. You mentioned earlier that you needed to protect the data. Can you tell us more about how you dealt with that in this environment? As you can imagine, the security of our intellectual property, both internal and external, is of paramount importance. As a result, any operations that deal with the movement of data in or out of the company's network must be as secure as possible. So, the most significant concern with this design was the fact that the project was connected to the internet. Although this made it easy to ingest data, it also forced us to isolate our engineers within the environment. We essentially allowed them to use native services, but only from instances within the project, essentially creating a DMZ-like setup. This was a pain because it required us to maintain two separate IAM identities, one with full privileges and one with heavier restrictions that could be used safely on site. You mentioned handling the import of data from lots of locations. How did you accomplish this and did you see any impact from dealing with the size of this data? So dealing with multiple sources was relatively easy. In some cases we had automated jobs which would collect data from sources such as FTP. In many other cases we were able to leverage the storage transfer service for interacting with vendors which share their data via S3. This was great as it removed the need for us to build anything bespoke for the job. Going back to security, how did you ensure that only the right people could access your data? The key change we made is that the project is now part of a secure perimeter. This is a concept from the Secure VPC product. Essentially, it allows us to have fine-grained control over who has access to data stored within BigQuery and GCS. The other key difference is that we use private interconnect between Two Sigma and Google. With that in place, we could enable the engineers and researchers to safely access the data using native tools directly from within Two Sigma without the risk it could be shared outside. The other bonus with private interconnect was that we had dedicated bandwidth for data transfers. Ultimately, the new architecture was a game changer for our data engineering team. They could now operate independently without impacting anyone else within the company. Now, this has been running well for a while, and you've learned a lot along the way. If you could go back and do it again, what would you do differently? Well, one thing we've rather glossed over so far is the way in which we ingest data in the new environment. The Secure VPC product makes it very easy to lock down where our data can be accessed from, but it also introduces a new level of complexity when dealing with getting data from external sources. This also required us to think carefully about how secure API traffic is routed between Two Sigma and these projects. In order to do this, we implemented a Secure VPC concept called bridging. This allowed us to use a single project as the gateway for all other secure traffic, which is ease management, but presents us with a new bottleneck, which we have concerns with in the long run in terms of scalability. This is something we'll look to address as we onboard more teams. So, by architecting carefully, we were able to handle large volumes of unpredictable external data, combine those with our internal data sets, and stay secure. Thanks so much for giving us some insight into how you built your data pipeline to handle all of these challenges. Our pleasure. If you'd like to get some hands-on experience and try setting up a VPC perimeter for yourself, check out the quick guide in the description. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to the Google Cloud Platform channel for more great content. We'll see you next time on Stack Chat.